Hello friends, it's me, <laughs> Laura Burns, and um, hi, welcome to this trunk club video. I'm laughing because um, I meant to like put on a cute outfit and like fix myself up and I forgot. And now we're filming, so I'm gonna roll with it. I do have on lipstick though. Okay, so here we are yet again for another trunk club and I have some updates, some things to tell you. <sighs> So let's get into it right now. Oh, but first, let me just say, if you happen to be here for the very first time, I would really, really like to give to you jazz hands and a heartfelt welcome to this uh, community of weirdos. <laughs> um, okay, so if you're not super familiar with Trunk Club, it is a clothing subscription service. You have a stylist um, that changes every time. Um, <laughs> this is part of the ongoing drama. Uh, you have a stylist that listens to your um, messages about what you're looking for. They carry a box for you. You get a preview. You can say yes, 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 no, no, no. They put in new stuff for anything that you've taken out. They send it to you. You try it on. You keep what you like. You send the rest back. <sighs> now, Tron Club has been for the past three years now that I've been doing it, uh, my favorite clothing subscription service, but I've really had a struggle with them lately. Um, they switched their model to having a dedicated stylist all the time so they could really know your likes and dislikes and they kind of grow with you over time. So now you just get a random one every time. We've had some growing pains. Um, last trunk was pretty good, so that was good. Now here's where it gets interesting. Um, so earlier, or in August, because it's now officially September, OMG, in August, I got my preview, and I happen to be live. <laughs> um, I have a Patreon, and, and if you're a member, then you get access to my private Facebook group, so I happened to be live in that Facebook group when I saw the email that said, hey, you have a preview, so I said, hey, do you guys want to be live with me when I open my preview and see what they picked for my trunk, and they were like, Yes, obviously. So we um, zoomed over there and I opened it and I was nervous because these days I don't know what to expect from these trunks and sometimes they're not that great. And then I, you know, do my zhuzhing and like we message and stuff and they get better. Uh, but I was like, who knows? Who knows what this is gonna be like? And it was bad. <laughs> it was not good at all. I went through um, after the live part ended with everybody and I was like, no, 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 like, don't send me this because, don't send me this because, don't send me this because. Um, and then I kept a few of the items that they had chosen, um, and then I said, fill this box with other things for all the stuff that I uh, said don't send. I got to pick um, three accessories at the end so that those are also in the trunk now. <sighs> and here it is. And so um, I've looked inside because... Uh, in my live this week, I showed them, hey, the trunk has arrived, like, let's look and see what they included in it. Um, so yesterday I pulled out each item and said, this is what's in the trunk. Um, but I haven't tried anything on, so I don't know how it's going to fit. Uh, but that was really fun. And I really like the idea of now of um, doing that live every month uh, when the preview comes. I'm going to save the preview for a live in that Facebook group <laughs> because it was really fun to have people live with me when I opened that email and was like, What's it gonna be? So, all of that being said, um, I'm excited to try stuff on. I know what's in there. I have concerns. I have some optimism about certain pieces. I have some grumpy thoughts about others that I will for sure tell you. But um, yeah, let's get into the try on. Okay, so here's our first item. This is from Caslon in a size 4X. And it is their, it's the same cut, I think I got last month, their muscle tank, um, which was like probably like this long. I think this is like the same garment, but longer, so made into a dress. And um, this is one of the original items from the trunk, and I was like, kind of meh about it because, not because I don't like it, I like the color, it's lightweight, cast on stuff is always really nice quality. And now seeing it on my body, like, I think it fits nicely, it's comfy, but I would wear this, like, not as, like, clothing for the outside world. Here, so you can see the side. Um, but I would wear this inside as, like, a lounge dress, um, that kind of thing. I don't think that it is um, something that I would choose to wear out. 
I mean, maybe like to run a quick errand if I had on like, you know, my bike shorts underneath because I'm always wearing bike shorts. And those of you who are like, why are you always wearing bike shorts? It's because of the chub rub on my thighs. If I don't wear bike shorts or leggings or tights or something, then my thighs rub together when I walk and it's very painful. Um, so I'm always wearing <laughs> bike shorts or leggings or something underneath. So like this is, I've got a bra, bike shorts, and the dress on. So this is like presumably what it would look like, but with shoes, I'm not wearing shoes. Um, it's fine, it's nice. It would make a nice lounge dress for me, but I happen to know the price because it's on the price tag. <laughs> um, and it is $49 and I'm just kind of like, I don't know that I really wanna pay $49 for a lounge dress when I have plenty of other lounge dress, dress options. Um, but if I were in need of one, I would, I would consider keeping this for sure. I think that the quality is nice, the finishing is nice, um, the fabric is uh, really breathable, it's got a slight texture to it. Um, yeah, I just don't know that like that's like the best use of my money uh, <laughs> right now, but here you go, just for reference, here you go, it's from the side, from the back. It is stretchy, so it's like t-shirt material. So there is stretch to it. Um, yeah, if you wanted it like more oversized, you could size up, but just know that the armholes are already on the big side. And so it would really be like a muscle tank then if you um, sized up. And if you're larger than me looking like, oh, can I size down in this? You could, it would be, you know, more body con, which like, I'm not, I'm not anti that. So just letting you know. Uh, how things fit, especially since this is technically the largest size that Nordstrom sells. Um, I know a lot of people are sized out then, but a lot of times I get things that are uh, very generously cut and that fit larger than me. So just like to give that information just in case there's new people who are like, why does she always mention about that? Um, that's why. All right, so let's move on. I kind of got this one out of the way first, so we're going to move on um, to things that I'm maybe a little more excited about. Okay, so next uh, we have this dress, dress, I can't say dress tag. We have this dress from Leith, like Keith, but with an L. This is also in a 4X. And this is the first Leith dress in a while that has actually fit me, so that's pretty exciting. If you watch my videos, you know that I've had a string of like very beautiful Leith dresses that I can get on my body, but that are like way too tight to feel comfortable wearing. And so this one actually fits, but I'm kind of bummed because this just isn't like my favorite fabric. Um, it's pretty. I actually I'm kind of digging it when I look in the viewfinder. It's just not something I would choose for myself. I usually go for more um, saturated colors like jewel tones and, and stuff like that or like really bright things. This is just like such a um, middle ground for me. I don't know. So I love a square neckline. Y'all know I've been like really into that. Um, it's a cute sleeve, like, like it's very cute. It's got smocking in the back, and so that'll help with fit for sure. Like I can actually bring my uh, arms forward and, and touch fingers, and uh, which means I could drive. <laughs> um, there's nothing worse than like a garment that like stops you from being able to move. So this one like fully, I have full range of motion, which is really nice. Um, it's fitting a little, big I think up here it like almost wants to do that which it's not the worst thing in the world I don't know I think I'm like talking myself into it because I want to like it more than I do do y'all think that that's true that's what I think um it's very cute it's a little big in the top but I think that is also a function of I very often have to take in straps to make them shorter and I think that's what's happening here is that uh, it's just a little big here. So that would be something that I would probably want to take in because this like moving around would drive me crazy. Um, it's got empire waist. This is not stretchy material. And then it has this like very high slit. Like this slit ends so high on my body. Like it is well above crotch level. And so if you didn't wear bike shorts, what? Like, are you just showing everyone your underwear constantly? It doesn't make sense. If I were to keep this, I would sew that slit up for sure. 
Um, and that would actually work okay because this is cut in an A-line style, so there is room for my belly. Um, it just seems crazy to me that this slit is so high. <laughs> and this dress is here, like right here where my um, finger is. That is bananas to me. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm letting you see from the side. I don't know. The more I um, look at this, the more I'm kind of into it. I don't know. Do I need this dress? Will I wear this dress? I don't know. Everybody pause and tell me, do you think I will wear this dress if I keep it? <laughs> um, maybe if I have to ask, the answer is no. <sighs> if I had like a huge closet and could just like own things that I might wear, then I would want to keep this really bad. <laughs> okay, um, but I actually do like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Hmm. The color's growing on me. I'm also realizing that I'm blending in a little bit with the wall. <laughs> so I guess I do like the color maybe more than I thought. Anyway, uh, moving on. Okay, I'm back in the next dress. This is also from Caslon just like the first one, and I'm bummed because it doesn't fit. <laughs> um, but look how pretty it is. It's this beautiful like periwinkle, and then these stripes of this like bright, but also kind of muted at the same time yellow. It's like a muted yellow, a muted, uh, a muted neon yellow, which sounds like a oxymoron, but um, it's so pretty and so unlike anything that I own. Um, I love how like the stripes go different directions. In theory, I love this dress. It's a maxi dress. I'm gonna show you. I just, I just wanted to be sad for a minute. This is like, this feels like another leaf, uh, beautiful dress. It doesn't fit, but it's from Caslon. So here you go. Here's the whole dress, and OMG, I think it's so beautiful. I love the stripes, different directions. I love the um, material. Is this really thin uh, cotton gauze? It has um, a cotton slip liner, uh, but this thing is so tight. Up here is fine. From like the from my natural waist up, it's fine. I could totally wear it and be happy. But like from here down, yikes. <laughs> um, which makes me sad. But that's okay. Um, here's from the side, so you can see. I don't know if you can tell on camera like how much this doesn't fit, but like to me. It's like holding me, it's like, maybe some people would like that, but it's like holding my belly in and like making it smaller. <laughs> um, it's super tight. I don't think that I could sit down in this without ripping some seams. The, um, the cotton uh, liner, the slip is not stretchy. The gauze is not <laughs> stretchy. And um, I think if I were any bigger, like this would not have even like, gone down my body. But it's so pretty and it really bums me out. But that's okay. Let me talk about this uh, for you. For you, I love this dress. <laughs> for somebody that this actually fits on, I love this for you. It's like a beautiful summer, spring dress, which I know we're moving into the fall, but like, I mean, I would buy this to like save it to wear next year. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Um, very lightweight, so this would be great, you know, for hot times of the year. It is just hitting like the tops of my feet. So if you're um, not super tall, this might work for you. Y'all know I'm not a super tall person. Um, I am like five foot five, and my legs are really, <laughs> my legs are really short. I have a long torso, little baby, tiny legs. Um, the quality is good. The construction is good. It's from Caslon. I love like. Their uh, clothes are really nicely made. The colors are beautiful. It's a gorgeous dress. It just doesn't fit me right, which is a huge bummer. I would say that if you were a size, a 26 that doesn't um, carry their weight like me, where you're like bigger down here, or like if this part of you is a true 26 or a small 26, this would fit you really well. Um, I think even on a 24, this would look nice because it would just have a little bit more ease to it depending on um, how you like your clothes to fit. But I would say for sure this is not, uh, if you're like a 28, I would not, I would not do this because I don't think it would <laughs> work really well for you. 
I'm so bummed. I just wish that it came out a little bit more and had some ease through the skirt because y'all, so pretty, but that's okay. There are always more dresses out there. If you like this, oh my God, please buy it because it's so pretty. And then send me a picture of you wearing it so I can live vicariously through you. Okay, I've saved the last two dresses uh, for last because I'm most excited about these. And um, one of them is a, uh, a friend that we've already come to know. I'll be back. Well, hello friends. Welcome back to this dress. <laughs> if you saw my video last month, you may have seen that I already tried this dress on. When I um, looked at my preview this time, I was feeling so grumpy about all the stuff that they had put in initially that I didn't like. And I got to this and I was like, what? I literally just got this dress. I was like all pissed about it. And I was like, oh, it's in a size 3X. Well, well then, I'm not mad about it at all. And I am now in fact excited to receive it. So. Um, last month I got this exact dress in a size 4X and a lot of y'all were pissed at me <laughs> for not keeping it um, because it's a very pretty dress and you really liked it on me and I um, had liked it but felt that it was uh, too big up here and people were like you should have kept that dress it was so good but look OMG look how great this one fits. So this is the 3X now. The length is much better. The one before went like almost to the floor on me. This one is hitting at my low ankle, well above my feet. I'm not gonna trip on it. And the top, the top fits so well. It's not too big, y'all, I'm dying. Oh, if, you're, if you don't remember, this is from Caslon. It's a very Caslon-y trunk this time. It's from Caslon in a size 3X. It is a very stretchy, very stretchy material, super thin and super lightweight. This is a maxi dress. And like you can see, like it's a lot of dress. It is so light in your hands. It's really light on the body. You know, sometimes a maxi dress is gonna feel really heavy. This is super light. It has great movement. I can feel air like, getting up underneath the skirt, which should help with like sweaty, gross, maxi dress legs. Um, I'm pumped, y'all, I wanna keep this so bad. I love it. I don't have anything that looks like this. I think that um, this is a great spring, summer, fall <laughs> dress for Houston. Um, I like the colors. It's like maroon, navy, and kind of off-white which could go a little patriotic, which is not really my vibe in dressing, um, but because it's these tones of the colors, I think it's nice. Um, is that kind of pinky? Oh yeah, one of these stripes, actually there's like a little bit of pink also in there. Um, anyway, I'm so happy. I'm feeling really good about how this fits and how it looks and how it feels and I'm pumped. So. I think we know I'll probably be keeping this dress because I really like it. And y'all know I love big floofy skirts that move a lot. And this really fits the bill. I can see like gold jewelry, my Birkenstocks. Like, yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm pumped. All right, so the last dress that I have to show you is one that I'm really interested to see how this looks on me. Um, and I will talk to you more about it once I have it on my body, but, uh, I don't know. Get excited, be prepared, whatever. Um, I'm excited about this one. Okay. So I'm not going to show you the whole thing yet because I want to talk about why I've been excited and interested in trying this dress on. As some of you know, um, the past, like, I don't know, year or two, ish <laughs> i've really been um exploring different silhouettes and clothing for my whole life as a fat person i was told to wear clothes that um always highlighted my waist you know as if the hourglass shape is like the ultimate shape to strive for and the only way that my fat body could be seen as worthy or desirable or like beautiful or whatever is if i um pull in the waist and try to make that shape as much as possible. And so I did that for a really long time. I wore clothing that, if you know me now, you're like, Laura, you hate things around your belt. You're like, yes, that's like my worst, uh, worst case scenario in an outfit is like a belt or like stuff that's tighter on the waist. I used to wear Spanx. 
I used to wear belts. I used to wear non-stretchy clothing. Um, and I never felt comfortable in it. I never felt good, but I felt like it was what I was supposed to wear. It was what the stores had for me, and therefore uh, it was, you know, whatever, what was available to me. And so as I have been exploring these like trapeze dress situations, or um, so, I don't know why I said situation, silhouettes, um, oversized silhouettes, um, which I know that for some oversized goes back to times when you just tried to hide your body, um, but it's oversized with an intention, right? It's like fashion oversized and not just like, I hate my body and want to hide it oversized. Anyway, and none of this is to say that like you have to want to do this also. I'm just explaining um, and also kind of a disclaimer. There are going to be, and I know that there are people who watch me who don't agree with my whole like thing about oversized and they think, and you, you know, like really believe you should always pull in the waist and like, that's fine. That's for you. But like, for me, that feels really restrictive and like physically uncomfortable for me for a number of reasons. And also just like emotionally uncomfortable <laughs> for me. Cause it reminds me of that, that uh, way of thinking that I used to have. So this is not to say that anyone is wrong or bad for believing that, you know, like you should highlight the waist all the time. Um, but for me, it's been like a really empowering process to step away from that hourglass sil silhouette or the striving for an hourglass silhouette and to say, I'm going to wear what feels comfortable, what feels fun, what feels interesting to me. Um, and if that it, it shows my waist, fine. And if it doesn't show my waist, if it, you know, takes away the shape of my body, that's okay too. And I think you'll find in my videos, like I wear everything from super, like super tight, you know, bodycon stuff to like amorphous blobs, basically. Um, and so this dress was in the original uh, preview, if that's the word, for my trunk this month. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And so I've been excited to try it. And that is all. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I will now show you the dress. This is from Halogen in a size 4X. And it, to me, is really beautiful. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to back up now. <laughs> Are you ready? Um, here you go. Oh. So it is, I think, really gorgeous. Number one, I love this color. This um, cobalt blue is, has become one of my favorite colors and I don't have a lot of clothes in it. I almost got a dress in this, maybe from Trunk Club, maybe from Dia, I can't remember recently, but I wanted a different size and then they didn't have it in that size and then I couldn't get the original dress back and so I lost it all together, but it was in this beautiful color. Um, I love it. I love that it's sleeveless. It's super, super lightweight. It is lined, um, which, you know, I often cut the lining out of clothes, so it would be conceivable that I would cut the lining out of this because I don't, for me, I don't think it needs it. I don't know if it's, I don't even think it's see-through, but even if it were, I always wear bike shorts, so like, what are you going to see, my bike shorts? Um, I, I don't know. I understand why people wouldn't like it. I really like it a lot. Look at the movement. It's like so pretty to me. It's got all these tiny, tiny like micro pleats all the way around. Um, yeah, and it doesn't show the body. Um, I'm okay with that. But if you wanted to, you could, you know, belt it. <laughs> Do you remember that SNL sketch like from the 90s? Like, I don't know if they were like belted or like put a belt on it. I think it was belted. I think I'm thinking of put a bird on it. Anyway, I think it was just like, everything was like belted or cinch it. Maybe it was cinch it. Tell me in the comments, do you remember that sketch? Um, so you definitely could, you know, put something here to emphasize the waist if you wanted to. And I'm not anti that. Um, I'm just saying like, I get a lot of pushback from people saying that like, oh, that's not flattering because you can't see your waist. But like, I don't really care about like flattering I care about like, does this feel like a fun garment to wear? Does it make me excited? Do I feel good in it? Um, Cause like, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care like if other people like it. Anyway, I am super into this dress. I think that you could like really dress this up a lot, like depending on the shoes that you wore, the jewelry, how you did your hair. Oh, I'll show you the back so you can see. 
just has like a super simple closure like this. So I could see like, you know, doing some kind of something here. Oh, like a cute top knot would be cute. Um, and like really having fun with like some statement jewelry since this is like a simple backdrop, but I don't know. I think it makes a big impact. I'm really into this, obviously. I wanna keep it. I don't know how much money it is. It feels like maybe it might be um, kind of expensive. Like the material feels nice. Uh, the finishing is really nice, but I don't know. I don't remember like how much, like how halogen tends to run price-wise, but I'm definitely interested. I'm just looking from the front. Um, and okay, so size-wise, the material's not stretchy, but because of the pleating, it opens out a lot. And so the lining inside is not stretchy and doesn't open out that much. But if you're bigger than me, you could cut the lining out and look how generous, you know, I mean, obviously like you lose the pleats if you pull it out, but even, you know, a 5X could certainly wear this. And even in the top, there's a lot of space, even with the lining. So I think that this is like a really generously cut garment that could work for a lot of people. Um, I can't stop doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this on while I show you the rest of the items from the box because it's all accessories. So BRB. The first thing I wanna show you is a pair of Birkin socks, which would be right up my alley, but they're the wrong size. I did specify that in Birkin socks I wear a size 39. These are a size 41, which is obviously not right. But otherwise, like, I would totally keep them. They're a nice, like, kind of gunmetal um, satin finish. Giza is the name of the style. Giza and Mayari are, like, my fave styles. Last month, I kept a pair of my uh, Mayari white Birkin socks. So that's that. Kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, I might see if I could exchange this, but honestly, like, I already have other stuff I want to keep, so it's not really that big of a deal. I'm not going to cut. I'm just going to keep showing you. <laughs> so the next thing is a pair of earrings from Madewell. Oh my gosh, this lighting. I always say this. Can you see? Maybe not the best lighting. They're cute. Um, oh, it has a price tag on the back, $22. Um, I picked these from the accessory section. I thought that they were going to be more colored, like they're really um, washed out. I mean, I know that it's like dark. I can't, <laughs> I can't get this to where there's a light. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. Um, I'm not, a, I'm not a professional YouTuber. Uh, Sterling Silver Post, they're gold toned. One, the rectangle is gray. The triangle is kind of pinky. Oh, there you can kind of see a little bit anyway they're cute I don't know if they're $22 cute okay next so this is from Kendra Scott this is another pair of earrings that I am actually pretty into um, I also picked these no I think maybe they picked these for me uh oh I pulled this one off I forgot so it's a threader a threader earring so this part goes through your ear and then like hangs down. There we go. So simple, but like pretty cool. I've always wanted a pair of threader earrings because I think they look really neat. So, and I like these, I don't know. Let's see how much they are, I might keep them. Um, and then that's it, those are the accessories. So, um, hmm. I'm gonna get the prices and we'll see how much everything is and what I can keep. Y'all, it's so hot in here. <laughs> I have to turn off, um, we have central AC, but this room is like the last room on the at the end of the line to get air. So I have a window unit in here because this is like also the first room to get the sun and it gets it all day. But I turn it off when I film and then I'm so hot. <laughs> okay, so. The stud earrings from Madewell, $22. The muscle tank dress from Casson, that like corally one from the very beginning, $49. Pleated sleeveless midi dress, $69. Okay. Floral square neck maxi dress from Leith, $79. Mm -mm. Tie waist ruffle hem maxi dress, that was the one that didn't fit, $79. The 
tiered smocked waist maxi dress from Castellon, 69. That's the one that I got in the 3X. Um, Giza Burko Floor Flip Flop from Birkenstock, 99.95. The Fern Threader Earrings from Kendra Scott, 58. There we go. So, um, I'm going to think for a minute. Hold on. I made a decision and I would like to preface this with I am so grateful to everyone who uses my trunk club link and then purchases something um, because if somebody uses my link and purchases something then I get $50 in credit um, if you use my link at all you get 50 you get $50 but if you purchase something I get $50 in credit which is the only way that I'm ever able to keep stuff because I don't have money to shop like this um, and I just uh, I always forget to say at the beginning, and I never think of it till the end, but I just want to say thank you so much. Like, I, um, I'm not some, like, rich lady. Like, I really appreciate it. This is how I'm able to make these videos um, and to actually keep things. So I just want you to know, like, super genuinely, like, I really appreciate um, anyone who does that. And, um, yeah, so if you, want, if you want to use my link, please go for it. Um, and because of that, I do have credit and so um i'm gonna keep both these dresses that i wanted the blue guy and the 3x castellan striped maxi dress and i just want to say oh my god thank you so much for the ability to keep both of these dresses because without you i would not be able to do that um i'm just i'm looking over here because that's where the other dress is so um so that's what I'm going to keep. Thank you so much. And um, now is the time in the video where you type, 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 and you say, what would you keep if you were you? What would you keep if you were me? And then just anything else that you would like to say about the trunk or um, the process or me. Maybe don't say mean things. Um, <laughs> anything else. And if you would like to, I would love to hear how you're doing. I know that um, this is a hard time for a lot of people, especially now it's like back to school, making decisions, having to figure out what you're going to be doing. Um, we're living through a collective trauma, uh, a series of traumas, actually, more than one thing is going on right now. And so uh, I hope that you're practicing some self-care. I hope that you're um, listening to your body and giving it what it needs and uh, being kind to yourself. And so I hope that you feel loved and supported. And if you don't, please know that I love and support you and I'm sending you so much, so many good vibes right now. Um, thank you for being part of the community. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider joining Patreon, where for just $2 a month, you get access to our private Facebook group where I post behind the scenes videos, first looks at boxes and products I'm trying, and weekly live chats where we talk about literally anything. Your support means so much to me. Thank you for bringing your particular flavor of weirdo to our world of kind, compassionate folks. All the links will be in the description box below.